Yeah. Okay. So, you know, like pe people, you get, it's like someone gets taken over and they say the, the exact things that really hurt you or really sort of thing. And what you don't know is that uh, your aura can be read in the spiritual domain. Mm. So they can, they can find out a lot of information uh, from you and then use that to attack you. So it's like um, when you go to uh, psychics and mediums and whatnot, is that they can often be, you know, they, they, can, they can have entities that can read your aura and read your weaknesses and then use that. They say like, oh yeah, you know, um, uh, you've, got, you've, got, you've got bad toothache and you don't like spinach. <laughs> and they read that. They read that from your aura. And they said, you know, and uh, they got, you, got, you got toothache and you, don't like, you didn't like spinach as a kid. And, uh, and uh, you know, and then you believe them. Or they, they seem to know, they can, they can read you from the spiritual level. I mean, these are not good spirits that can read, read your aura. I mean, you have this, you know, you, you learn this, I mean, you went to, you know, a lot of people know this, you go into, it's not recommended that you go and learn psychometry and learn how to read things, but you can have bad intentions when doing that, and the spirit realm can do that. Uh, the collective ego can take over people, and they read your aura, and they've been watching you. It's like the collective ego is watching you, it's read what you need, so they can take someone over and attack you on that. So there's a lot of information that you think they can't get, which they can get. You know. Who are they? Yeah. <laughs> in truth, there is no such thing as they, because there isn't a they. But in truth, yeah. it's the 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 um, as as you as you evolve, because um, ultimately there is no this and that. Mm. There is no light and darkness. But mm. in the realm of duality, you know, there's a collect there's a collective consciousness to this planet. You know, let's say the planet is just above integrity right now. But if anyone wants to go shouting out about high truth <coughs> in the planet, then it's like you're tipping the balance from what it currently is. So, just like you know, you have you, you, anyone who you know, like like I, I, if you do like Christian type prayers, you you pray to be an instrument to the divine. Yeah. So it's like you're now opening up a channel, and you'll you'll be used by the light. To deploy, to deploy the light in this world, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You just get intuition and it will direct mm -hmm. you. And you'll have saints, which are like the, the light's high, high, you know, high guns. And you have the, you know, the, 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 the beginning spiritual students that can be used as pawns to raise the consciousness of the planet. Yeah. And then there are the, there are the levels of... Um, the lower levels of darkness, we call, Hawkins would call them luciferic. The luciferic levels are the ones that bend truth to subvert the truth. And then the satanic ones that take pleasure in just grim torture and, and, and horrible stuff and death. So it's like, as you become something of the light, you're now a threat to the collective ego's domination on this planet. If that makes sense. Hmm. So it's like uh, when you're a nobody, you probably don't have much to worry about because you're a nobody. But if you're trying to go up in the light and spread more light and love into the world, then what the, the collective ego is will start to, just like you're now becoming one of the ranks of the high saints or whatever, they will now, those entities and those people that can be used to to take you down will be required. Now this is, I mean, it sounds all a bit bizarre, but of course, I mean, the only, no one can be taken down if they're perfect. If you've got all your chakras are perfect, then there's no temptation. You know, there's no, you've passed all the temptations, so there isn't anything. No power, money, uh, lust, you know, greed, whatever they are. You know, there's nothing that they can do. They can threaten to take your body away, but still that won't be enough. So you remain, you remain a, a channel of the light. Otherwise, um, that's it. So it's like a chessboard. 
Now you've got your individual karma, but you've got to understand, like when you think of karma, like in as a beginning spiritual student, you're clearing your personal karma. Mm. So, um, you know, if I'm just clearing my, you know, I don't like. I don't know, I don't like my, you know, if it's I don't like my uncle, I'm just clearing my personal karma. So it's like the, the things I'm transcending are my karmic interactions with my uncle, yeah? Now let's say I've cleared most of my personal crap from lifetimes, and I now want to advance on to clearing my family stuff, and then I want to now clear on to clear, now I've cleared my family stuff, I've cleared my personal stuff, now I'm trying to clear the collective, the collective crap you know, the whole global karma from this world. So once you start trying to do that, what I call the collective, the collective ego, you know, all the satanic and luciferic forces that are, now that you've cleared your personal stuff and your family stuff, and now you want to clear the world stuff, you know, the collective ego is not going to be very happy because mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're now stripping the balance of light and dark and you're trying to raise the consciousness of the whole planet mm -hmm. into a higher ev evolution. So everything that can be thrown at you is going to come at you, both psychically mm -hmm. and, uh, and any bodies, like you get people that suddenly go into a different personality and attack you, everything that can be used will be sent mm -hmm. your way because you're now, you're now clearing the dominion of darkness away from the collective. Now when you're a nobody just trying to forgive your mother or something, they're going to leave you alone because it's just you and your mother. You know, now that you're going, now you're becoming a heavyweight. Uh, that's what I mean by collective. So it still is in within karmic dominion. But you've got to understand, personal karma, when you're clearing personal karma, it's different to clearing family karma. And when you're trying to clear the collective karma of the whole planet, what I mean by they mm. is like everything, you know, like it's like in the ranks of the demonic and the luciferic, they'll just uh, choose the appropriate heavy hitters to pull you down. You know, and hence, you know, that's the thing of the Bible, you know, it's like now Lucifer himself, it's like, you know, Jesus has cleared his family crap, you know, the local priests, now he's like at the verge of enlightenment, it's like, you know, you're going to get the, you're going to get, you know, it's, it's symbolic, isn't it? Lucifer himself, yeah. the epitome yeah. of, of the collective ego, the, the levels of non-truth, the most heavy hitting energy that's available is going to pay a visit on you to see whether you can pass or not. So that's what I mean by the collective. Mm. Uh, and, oh yeah, I was going to, should I, should I quickly talk about my experiences very quickly? Do you want that? Do you want a separate video? Yeah. A separate video? Yeah.